Well, alrighty, Rue, everyone, welcome back to the PC Rehab. I'm so happy that you're here. I gotta tell you, you are looking pretty fit. You been working out? So I picked up this computer on Facebook Marketplace for $50. Now, what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna disassemble this entire computer. We're going to deep clean every piece in it. We're gonna reassemble it. And then we're gonna throw a graphics card in it and try and see what kind of performance we can get out of this old system. Now the CPU that is inside of this system is from 2012. It's an AMD A6 5400, two cores, two threads. Wow. And they put it inside of this case, which appears to be brand new because there's still plastic on the glass front panel here. And it looks like it's a brand new power supply in here as well as brand new SMP DDR3 RAM. Now I am super excited to see how well this old system plays games. So let's go ahead, disassemble this thing and start cleaning her up. I look like I just got home from playing 18 holes of golf. So this is the second computer in a row that took about 40 seconds to disassemble. But uh, something to see in this case that is interesting is the back plate on here. It's just dangling by a thread. Something about people and back plates with these computers lately. They just don't like them or, and I have to order new ones. Thankfully, inside of the system rolling around were the brackets. So the, the uh, clamps for this are here. So thankfully I have that, so I don't have to order another AM3 backplate. Uh, but it does have this stock heat sink in it. It's pretty dirty. I think we're just going to throw it away because inside of this box that he gave me, for the $50, he also gave me this huge box full of stuff. And inside there was this heat sink. So this heat sink, I, I'm thinking it will fit here because it is set up for AMD. This might actually work, and this would be a way better cooling option than this tiny little dinky thing. Uh, another thing about this case is it only has one fan, and it's this ugly blue fan. So what we're going to do is the case that I took apart last week had three black fans in it. I'm going to take the black fans out of that old case, and I'm going to put it in here so that this computer has much better airflow. Another thing that was inside this box that I thought was interesting is it does have a Wi-Fi adapter. So I can go ahead and attach this Wi-Fi adapter and maybe this will work and we will actually have a Wi-Fi computer. Uh, it also has like a bunch of fans in here, a bunch of crazy stuff and a one terabyte Western Digital 3.5 drive. Uh, I may save this one and just use the 500 gig hard drive that I have in my closet, but I have not made a decision on that yet. And then for graphics, we are going to go with this GTX 570 HD. Now you might recognize this card. This is the same card that we used in the Gigabyte uh, project, project Gigabyte. It was a long time ago. I think it was the third, third or fourth video on the channel. Uh, I bought a computer from somebody and he gave me two of these and I only used one in the build that we did. So I am going to be using this inside of this system so that we can we can use this, but it is dirty. So this is also going to need to get disassembled and cleaned so that way it can run efficiently, uh, as efficiently as it can paired with this older CPU. So without further ado, let's go ahead and strip this whole thing down and clean her up.
cleaning that graphics card is an absolute nightmare. So that will probably be the last time that I pick up a system that has that graphics card in it because taking that thing apart is terrible. There's just too many little screws and tiny little thermal pads. My thumb is killing me. Just never again. But we are ready to put this system back together. We have our motherboard ready. The heat sink that was inside that box fits on here really nice and it's gonna provide way better cooling than that stock cooler did. We do have our Wi-Fi. I was thinking that I was just gonna put two 500 gig 3.5 inch drives in here. But since this system is older, it would absolutely benefit from an SSD because putting a 3.5 inch drive inside of this system that was already gonna be slow with a slower drive, it would just make the experience unbearable. So I do have just a little 240 gig SSD. We're gonna put this in here and then I'll put one of the i5 500 drives in there for extra storage just so that the operating system can be on here, the computer can operate just a little bit faster, maybe one game or something like that. But we have 500 watt power supply and I took three black fans out of the last system that we built, uh, not the finished project, but the old case that the project started out in. I took those out, so we will put those in there to give this computer a lot better cooling. And uh, I think that's gonna do it. Let's go ahead uh, and just throw this bad boy back together. All right, so we got our old girl put back together and she looks way better than she used to. Now, one thing I am not a huge fan of is this horizontal heat sink. I'd rather have the vertical heat sink so that air flows through the fins and out the exhaust, but it was free, so I really can't complain. And for $50, I think that this was definitely worth the money as long as this thing turns on. So let's uh, test that now, huh? Oh, we got power. We got the power. Can we get an image? The image is what's gonna matter. Oh, fans are ramping up. We get an image? There it is. We get an image. All right, let's go ahead and play some games. So while I was able to snag gameplay of CSGO at 1080p, the other two games that I did test did not record properly. The computer was struggling to run OBS and gameplay at the same time, which was honestly not all that surprising. The gameplay at 1080p was underwhelming, but when I switched over to 720p, we got a much smoother gameplay. Shockingly, this computer was able to play Lost Ark at its lowest setting at 720p, so I was very happy to see that, and it performed pretty well in Dota 2. But in this case, I guess the saying that you get what you pay for applies very heavily. So while this computer may look way better than it used to, I still think that it's probably worth the $50 that we paid for it. Now, is the computer worthwhile? Sure, if you're just browsing the internet, watching YouTube videos, doing some Microsoft Word, Excel, those types of things, uh, doing some online shopping, sure, this is a good computer for you. Just a little home computer to, 
to get on and browse the internet, sure, this is a, a, a pretty quality computer. It was fast, it was responsive, it's just not going to be a gaming computer. Not in the sense of a gaming computer that's gonna have a high quality picture and you're gonna get a, a decent amount of frames to make the gameplay enjoyable, it's going to struggle pretty hard. But I am very happy that we were able to get this system running because it's better that I fix it and somebody is able to enjoy it rather than it go to the trash, which is where I'm sure it would have gone if I wouldn't have paid $50 for this thing. But ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy yourself, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I do two videos every week of us working on computers and having a whole bunch of fun, and it would mean a lot to me if you were there with me. And as always, no matter where you are in the world, I hope you are having a fantastic night, and I will see you in the next video.